it. And they, when they cook the chicken, they give me the head and I eat the eyeballs, I eat the brain and I eat everything. I gotta swallow it. You gotta swallow it? I gotta swallow it. Wow. And then I keep this inside my orula and they give me the ID. I want my baby mama to lose all her hair. I want my baby mama to catch cancer. Yeah. This was this what it was. It was a goat, my biggest sacrifice, but it was to- um, And it was alive. And it was alive, oh yeah. yeah. I laid on the floor, I took all my clothes off and I laid on my stomach. Yeah. And they poured the blood on me of the of the roosters, the rooster. uh, of the goats, everything. They mixed wow. all the blood up. And they get a stick and they beat me with it. Pop, You're going all in, yeah, all in with all Jesus. Yeah, I do. All in with Jesus. All in. All in. No, I'm being serious. This, I'm is, all this is it. No, this is it. Come on. This is it. Let's light it up. Let's find it. on Clean Spirit. This is crazy. I never thought I'd do this. This is the best decision you'll ever make, man. Thank you, Jesus. Man, this is wild. Damn, bro. Wow. Yo, yo, yo. I'm in my work outfit. I just got off of work. It's 9.14 at night. I worked a 12-hour shift, but work never stops. You know, now I'm going to do kingdom work. But you know, it's okay that I'm about to go do this in my work outfit because I want you guys to understand that you don't have to wear a suit. You don't have to dress a certain way to walk in authority and walk in power. And God used just the most basic people, fishermen, tax collectors, tent makers. The Apostle Paul was a tent maker. Peter was a fisherman. I don't know if you're a nurse, warehouse worker, it doesn't matter. You have the same spirit that rose Jesus from the grave. And I want you to start walking in the authority that Jesus paid so that you can have now. So that we can cover the earth with God's glory. So anyways, I had uh, this guy named Marcus call me. I've met him one other time. And Marcus is going through a lot of spiritual warfare. He's seen one of my videos on YouTube about uh, Santa Muerte. And he's like, Pastor Mario, I wanted to confess, uh, you know, I... I, I dabbled big time in witchcraft and I have all these altars or whatever he, he's done in witchcraft at his house, but he's ready to repent. He's like, I want to get rid of them. Will you come over to the house? Will you help me get rid of them? And so we're going to go over there. I'm going to ask him some questions. We're going to see him burn those things up, break those things. We're going to get rid of them. He's going to get filled with the Holy Spirit. And then we're going to anoint his house. We're going to worship there so that the spirit of God, just how there was altars to the devil. Now we're going to build altars to the kingdom of heaven. We're going to build altars to God with our praise and worship. And it's going to be amazing. So stick around to the whole video so you can learn. The Lord, the God of Israel, he swore to rescue us, make us superior. It ain't about what's going on exterior. Let's get the it. physical, the symptom of the spiritual. Time to expose Satan. I'm gonna lock this up. You know what's crazy? One of my best friends, his name's Abel, his name was Abel, lived right there up the street at that big old crazy looking house over there. That big white one? Yeah. How you doing? What's up, man? Good, man. How you, man? How you doing, man? Isaac, you remember Isaac, right? Yeah, yeah. This is what I got left. Yeah. So show us what this stuff is, man. So this right here, this is called right here, this is called my Ogun. Your what? My Ogun. Mm -hmm. It's my pot. This is what they give you when you get initiated in the religion. So it's gonna represent a lot of stuff. So it's gonna represent, basically, this is saying that this is the law. Yeah. The law lives in my house so I don't live Okay. with the law. This is the ID that they gave me. That's your ID. This is my ID that they gave me, and this goes inside Orula. So this is a uh, this is Orula right here. This is what we call Orula. Mm -hmm. When I get initiated, we kill some, we kill we kill a right. chicken. You, so you kill chicken during your sacrifice. Yeah. You so get... so whenever we uh um sacrifice, we kill a chicken. Wow. And then they get the chicken and they cook it. And they when they cook the chicken, they give me the head and I eat the eyeballs, I eat the brain and I eat everything. I gotta swallow it. You gotta swallow it. I gotta swallow it. Wow. And then I keep this inside my orula and they give me the ID. And the ID is gonna represent Marcus Gomez. And it's gonna be that's who chose me, Elewa. Who was my it? My guardian angel. That, that's that's know, that's who my guardian angel was. Yeah. It's 
Oh, more the demon. Elewa. It's a that's who that's who I was. That's what they call it. Oh, more the Elewa, wow. which is son of Elewa. And then it's gonna have on the back. It's gonna have my destiny, my path. Wow. So it's gonna have line zero. Th this right here is gonna represent what my path is, what my destiny is. So my so Orula is Oromila, and Oromila is wow a saint, master of divine. He's supposed to tell me my whole path, what's gonna happen, what, how my whole life plays out. Wow. And what, what they told me is that Oromila was the only santo who watched God create earth. That's what they told you? That's what they told me. Mm. That he was the only one. And this one is called Ire. Ire is going to be what this represents. So Ire, so these two lines mean something different. What, okay, so those two so, lines. Yeah, so this first line is going to represent what my path is going to be. Mm -hmm. The second line is going to represent... What's gonna what, what what's happening to me in my life? So they told me that I was gonna start having health problems. My stomach was gonna start bleeding and what? all this all this. They stuff. told you that. They told me that, and it happened. I started bleeding. I started. I started. You know why, right? Because you came into agreement with what they said. Yeah. So I started feeling sick. So and everything they told me, I'm not gonna lie. It's ha it has happened. It has happened. Um. When they came into, uh, uh, when they did come into my life, so these bra these bracelets right here, these necklaces, these are my coyotes, my coy coyotes, coyotes, coyotes. They're my necklaces. So each each necklace represents each santo of the Orishuas. So the Orish, this right here is called Oshun. Mm -hmm. Oshun represents she's the mother of the river. Elewa is who the guardian angel who chose me is red and black. Chango is red and white. Anyway. Chango is a warrior. Okay. An aggressive warrior. Obatala is all white. You know all those are different demons. Yeah. Marine spirit, spirit yeah, of well, murder, spirit they, of rage. They, they they put it in my head that these are my guard that all these a angels. These are my guardian angels. Especially with Elewa, because Elewa is who chose me to be my guardian angels. This is Obatala. Obatala is gonna be all white. This is Yemiya. Yemiya is the mother of the sea. And this is the main one, which is Orula. Orula. This is Oromila right here. This is your main one. So this is going to be your main hitter right here when you get into the religion. So when I got into the religion, did you see that picture I sent you? Yeah, we're going to post all that. like the That dead. picture yeah. with the sand on it in the circle? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this right here was the sand that they used when I got my sacra when I, when I got initiated into it. So when I got initiated into it, this was supposed to last me for the rest of my life. That's what they told me. This sand lasts me for the rest of my life. When anything bad, when I when I had something big coming up, I needed something instead of you know how hey we gotta pray to God and we and, and yeah yeah and and we gotta ask him hey you know we need this we want this but this is different. This is this is how they what chose. What would you do? We'd get this, get it right here, spread it right here, spread yeah. it right here, put it on my tongue and on my forehead. Wow. Wow. And then I'd go off boom, to the casinos. And, and, and what happened? I'd what go happened? to the casinos and I would hit big. You would hit big? And I would hit big. And so when I'd go to the casinos, I'd promise. So I got, in, I got Olokun. I, represent, I, got, I got some big Santos. And the Olokun cost me almost four grand. Four grand? Four grand. Olokun. And what, then. Was it like a statue and altar? Olokun is it's a big pot. I don't have is, it is in You talking about that red one? No, it, no, no, it's similar to that. It's a big pot and it represents uh, uh, the sea. It represents the sea, sea. Okay. and the sea. So when when I would do that, I would tell Olokun, yeah. "Hey, if you let me hit at the casinos, I'll give you two fishes and I'll take them to the sea." And you would do that, and I would do that. I would get two fishes. I would hit. I get two fishes. I would feed it. Let it sit there for three days. Three days for Elewa. Mm -hmm. Elewa represents three days. And I would get it, put it in a bag, and I would drive all the way to Houston, yeah. and I would throw it in the sea, and I would come back to Dallas. That's crazy, man. And what's the maracas for? This right here. <coughs> so when whenever I would start praying, these we bind every this, unclean spirit. This bracelets in right here. I, this bracelet I wore for six years without taking it off. So this is Oromila, Orula, and this right here is Elewa, who who chose me, my guardian angel. That's the same one. That's the same about. one. That's the same one I've been talking about. So this right here, whenever I would, whenever I would uh, uh, um, do your ritual, whenever I, I pray every Monday, I pray every Monday and I would, I had, a, I had my Elewa. So this is how, this is how, how 
competitive this religion is. Everyone here in Dallas is competing. And so there's, a there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. We're about to reach I, a lot I, of I people. Three families, and I know when they see this video, they're gonna. They know who I am. You're gonna reach a lot of these people, they're, man. They know who I am. They know who I am, <laughs> and they would basically tell me different things. Oh, well, this this is how you do it. No, this is how you do it. No, this is how you do it. So my Eliwa, the picture that I showed you. So that's Eliwa right there. That's one of the Eliwas. But this is my statue. This is the one that I received when All I got it. All those were dead. Look All this, that. that's a goat. So- Were and they I, alive? In the, yeah, they were alive. So in this religion, the biggest sacrifice you can do, the biggest promise you can make, hey, I wanna, I wanna hit big at the casinos. Hey, I wanna, I want to make my wife fall back in love with me. A, I want my baby mama to lose all her hair. I want my baby mama to catch cancer. Yeah. This was this what it was. It was a goat, my biggest sacrifice. But it was to. Um, and it was alive. And it was alive. Oh yeah. The, the, when we get them, they bring them. We buy them. We got to pay for them. They're tied up. And I sit there. So and, what was, what is this right here? Show, show, show That's right. a goat. No, but the other stuff. This one right here. That's the that's the legs. That's the head. Oh wow! And this is these are chickens. These are chickens. This is the whole body to the goat. That was in your garage, huh? Yeah, that wasn't in my garage. It was this right here is Eliwa. So this is where we put all the blood at. This pot right here, all this is not rust. That's blood. Oh, that's old blood. That's old blood. It's blood from when all my stuff was in there. When I start praying and they're and they're doing the rituals with me and I, and I'm and I'm doing my thing, praying to the Santos. All that blood goes in there, and wow. I don't wash that blood out. I leave it there. You left it there? I left it there. That blood wow. don't get washed out. Wow. That blood doesn't get washed out. What, okay, what's the alcohol for? So the alcohol is... It's an offering. Safe for, it's an offering, yeah. So say, for instance, this is the picture that I wanted to show you. So let me see. You know, it's a video I showed you. So this one right here. That's Elewa. That rooster is my head. That rooster is my head. So I would put that rooster up high. If that rooster was to fall, mm -hmm. that would mean death for me. And I would have to call. That would make you say, hey, you got to call your padrino like that. And a padrino is called a babalao. A babalao, yeah. It's called a babalao. That's, so that's the, that's the, 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 the dude that takes care of you. That's the dude, dude that takes care of me. That's your godfather. It's a babalao. So whenever we go up to him. spiritual father. Yeah, when it's a spiritual father. So whenever we go up to him, I go up to him. I grab his hand. Whenever we would greet, I hit, kiss his hand. Oh, Iboru, Iboya, Iboche. Wow. So I would tell. What language is that? That's uh, Cuban. Cuban. So this this uh, uh, religion. This religion came from Africa and Cuba. So Cuba. it's Afro Cuba. That's what they call. Wait, it. It's called what? A bab it's the a baba lao. A baba lao. A, ba a baba lao is the highest rank you can get in Ifa. So this is Ifa right here. And your pal uh, uh, a palero is palero. another branch. Okay. The palero is another branch, but the palero represents the muertos. Mm. So the palero is what I received. So when I received my palero. They, it was crazy. It was crazy. What happened? So when I received Palero, the first thing they did was we, they killed a goat, a chicken, two hens, and then it was a rooster from Cuba. Mm -hmm. It was like a $1,200 rooster. Wow. It was a lot of money. They killed that. They made, we, we killed it. They sacrificed it. I laid on the floor. I took all my clothes off and I laid on my stomach. Yeah. And they poured the blood on me of the of the roosters, the rooster. uh, of the goats, everything. They mixed wow. all the blood up. And they get a stick and they beat me with it. Pow, they just pow. start beating me. But before you. they beat they beat me with wow. the stick, I got cut with uh I got cut with the razors. They and actually they, cut you up. They actually cut me up. Let's see. So you can see the scars because I got it a few years wow. ago. Wow. Let's see. See if you can see like the smiley faces. Oh right here? Yeah. You can see like a bunch of scratch right there. Wow. There's, and then they put a smiley face with X's in it. Let's see if we got some light. It's hard to see on the camera, but... Can you see it? It's going to be on my back. Yeah, we see a few scratches right there, but it's, it's harder to see with yeah, the camera. Yeah, so they scratch you, man, and they get a with, with blades. With blades, and they scratch you. Wow. And then after they scratch you... They beat you with a stick on where, where I have my scratches at. And how, how long do they beat you for? They, it, w it was a minute. Really? A good minute. I say a good 30 minutes. I was, I was getting tortured. So before, 
Why do, why do they gotta torture you? They torture you so they they want they want you to be ready. So before you get the, before you get initiated in that, they tell you, hey, if you can take this, then let us know right now. If you can't take this, then you can't take this, and we're taking we're gonna take your money, and you gotta go. Wow. So they say, we're taking your money. Period. Yeah. So they're taking your money. Period. So that when they say right now, are you are you willing to take this sacrifice? Are you willing to take this pain? And you say, yeah. You get on the floor. You have everybody around. And there's all kinds of people doing all kinds of stuff, beating you. You got people singing. Wow. You got people playing the drums. It's it's a bunch of smoke everywhere too. Bunch of, it's a bunch of that's what that's what one thing is this right here. What and is it? So every Monday when I would pray, I would go say for instance I wanted to um, give thanks to Eliwa, which is that little statue I showed you in the right. video. I would go and um, I'd buy two coconuts. I'd go buy him a car. Eli Wa is a, a boy, a little boy. He's mm. like he's like my he's like my son. He, I would treat him like my little boy. That's crazy. So I'd go buy him a toy car. I'd go buy two coconuts. I'd go buy some flowers, and I'd get on my knees. I'd put some Eli Wa music on, and I would pray, and I would tell him what I wanted. I put this. I'd smoke. I would blow smoke into it, and that smoke would represent. It would bring it would bring the muertos down, mm. and it would let them know. Hey, look. He's it was praying. an altar. Yeah, it was an altar. That's what it was. It and was. you know, altar is literally what it's a contact point for the spirit realm to touch the the physical. So that's yeah, so so this right here was one of the last sacrifices that I did. He asked uh, um, Elewa said he wanted some uh, some rum. So he spoke to you. So he spoke. He don't speak to me. He speaks to the Babalas on the Ifa side, the Palero side. I could do anything I want to on the Palero side because I received Palero. Mm -hmm. But my Babalao, the Babalao, he got it's a change. It's a chain and it just it's just like this, but it's a chain. Mm -hmm. And Oromila, he'd start he start talking to Oromila and he'd ask him and he'd throw the chain and whatever the chain would land and I would hold a rock. I would have a rock and I would have one of these. Mm -hmm. And while he was praying, Oromila, Marcus Gomez is asking for uh to be successful, to make money, to be whatever. And then I'd stop. And then he'd throw the chains. When he would throw the chains, after he threw the chains, he knew the answer and he'd pick a hand. Rock means no, this means yes. Mm. And then we'd go from there. So it, it, the, the religion is crazy. The religion uh, is crazy. How, how'd you get involved in that? I got involved in this because me and a lot of people here from Oak Cliff, man, we were, we were selling big dope, man. We was big dope boys. Um, and it protected us, man, from, or we thought it protected us from, from the feds. So you get involved in this because you feel like it protects you. It protected me. So Just this like right, Santa Muerte. Yeah, so this right here was protecting me from the law. What is that? That it's, ar it's armor. This is the law right here. Oh, that's what you this said. This is the law. So the law lives in here, and it lives inside my house, so I don't live in the law's house. So nobody is supposed to see nothing. That's crazy. In this. This is all mine. The only person who can see anything in here was my Babala. Was my godfather. Guess what my godfather is now? What? In the feds. He's in the feds. He's in the feds. He's and, in the feds. But wait, 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 what happened to the law? It's a lie. That's what I'm saying. Like for people that are gonna watch this, people that worship the Santa Muerte, this with this religion, say the religion's name? Mano de Rula. Mano de Rula doesn't protect you it's a lie from the pit of hell only jesus protects you and this is my brother right here this is what he's gonna do get, he's gonna fully repent today we're gonna get rid of this this crap that's what it is this crap it's, it's trash it doesn't protect you and you're gonna get peace and one reason you hit me up too you've been telling me that you've been you felt like your spirit's on fire tormenting tormenting this is what it does it torments you you've been tormented right yeah so when i'm here by myself i'm most of the time i'm here by myself I've been here by myself for a few weeks. I used, you know what I'm saying? I was in a relationship. Just got rocky, she left. But ever since she's been gone, yeah. there's somebody here. You feel a presence? It's, a, it's, it's somebody in all black. Oh, okay. of it's, course. Uh, and we're gonna anoint this house right now. And, look, look here. Look, and, I, and, I would, look this way, look. And, and I And I would always yeah. see it right here. It's, it's always in this room right here. Yeah. In this room? Yeah, and right here. Oh. Right here. <laughs> I'd be brushing my teeth, boom, something will pass by. I'd be right here walking yeah. by. Boom, so going to your house, we're going to put some worship on. And just how this place was an altar for Satan, we're going to create an altar for God now so that heaven can come, the angels could be released in this place, and you ain't got to worry about nothing. You're going to sleep like a baby tonight. From this day forward, you're going to live like a king because you are a king, and according to the scripture. So what they wanted, what they wanted me to do on one of my last, um, basically, sacrifices, because the way I was feeling, the way everything was going, is they wanted me to get a table set up.
and go to the Dollar Tree and buy like um, eight glass, eight wine glasses, mm -hmm. fill them with halfway with water, and put a picture in a rosary of Jesus Christ. Wow. And they told me that that was, that was going to protect my house and it was going to protect everything. And I'm just, and sometimes it was confusing because I'm like, okay, well, this is God and this is Satan. Satan. And a house divided against itself cannot stand. That's what Jesus told us. You can't be one foot in, one foot out. You can't be eating with the demons and eating with God. This religion, I was very deep. You were. Very I was deep. very deep. I was very deep. Very deep. Yeah. How, how much do you think you spent in doing these oh, stuff? With this, with the religion, I spent easily. And that was, that's just a, the guesstimation. Over 50K. $50,000. Wow. wow. And that's easy. That's easy. 50K. 50K. They were pushing me this year, this year, to yeah. get crowned. And when you get crowned, that's oh, the highest that. thing that you can get in this religion. And it and says where the gonna, spirit comes, right? I, I was going to get crowned Elewa. This is who I was going to get crowned. I wanted to get my crown. Mm. And I was excited to get it. So I tell my padrino, write me up a list, everything that I need, and the cost of it. When he gave me my list and he gave me the end number, guess how much it how was much? to get crowned? How much? $26,000. Oh, I believe you. I go to another family and they tell me, and I tell them, okay, well, they told me $26,000. Oh, we'll do it for twenty two. Mm. Then I go to another family, which is the last family I was at, eighteen. Mm. It's all a money game. Yeah, that's and it. that's what made me start stirring away from it. I'm like, hey, man, every time I come to y'all, nothing good is, nothing good is in this. I got to pay y'all every time. Oh, well, oh, uh, mijo, you need to, um, you need to um, get this. You need to get that. I need to get it cleansed. I need to kill it. It says that you need to kill two roosters, and, uh, um, and you got to go throw them um, in a Trinity River. When you get crowned, I got to shave my head bald, and I have to wear white. For a whole year. For a whole year? For a whole year. No matter what, I have to wear white in my sleep. If I go anywhere, if I'm working, I have to wear white. My first three months, I have to eat on the floor. I can't eat on a table. <laughs> what? Yes. So my first three months, I have to eat on the floor, can't eat on the table, and I have to. I only have one spoon that I can use and one plate that I can use. The and, whole year? And the whole year. No, no, the three uh, months. Uh, the three months. months. Okay. The whole year, I have to wear all white. And I have to shave my head, and my shit has to, my head has to shave off. Did they tell you why? So I could be clean. All the hair comes off you. Everything comes off you. Everything. Oh, wow. I shave. Hey, women, they shave their long hair. They go bald. So if I see a bald woman in white and all white, you I know she got crowned. And that's the highest. What did she, she shave her eyebrows too? She shaves everything. It's yeah, if they're wearing all white. And you see them in all white and they're bald and all their hair is gone. It's because they got crowned and they got to stay like that for a whole year. They have to wear white. That's, hum that's humiliating. That's yeah, crazy. It's horrible. And that's one of the things I, was, I wasn't looking forward to. But they kept pressing, hey, you have to, you have to, you have to. Yeah. So when you get crowned, you go to your padrino's house and you got to stay in your padrino's house. And he has a room built just for crowning people. And you have to stay in that room for seven days. You have to sleep on the floor with a white sheet, a white cover. You have to eat on the floor. You can't go out of the room until your celebration four days later. So after the four days, you're in that stuck in that room. You cannot leave. You can't go nowhere. It don't matter if you have kids, if you have a job. No, it don't matter. You have to stay in that room. You have to sleep in that room. The only way you can come out, take a shower and to use the restroom. And you go back no in eating? that room. No, you can eat. You can eat. But you got to eat what they give you. So it's like a big celebration. They're, they got the madrinas in there. Everyone's cooking for you every day, getting you, giving you what you want. They try to make you feel so comfortable, but it's ridiculous. Wow. It's ridiculous. And you, just and you stay in there for seven. The last person I seen get crowned was, uh, um, was Diana. It was one of the people that, uh, that I used to be partnered with. She has two kids, and she stayed locked up in a room, and she has, it, was, it was horrible. Wow. She was. She would cry. She, she, she would cry. In yeah, the room. she would cry in the room. Was, like I miss my kids. Yeah, yeah. She would cry. She's and she. She I was, was just on the floor. She was just on the floor sleeping, and she was bald. Did she do the full year bald? Yeah, she's. She's still doing it. Oh wow! Can we pray for her right now? We can pray for her. She. Let's, she. She. Don't like speak life. You could believe that God can move just like me and her don't life. talk anymore. But but like this is what I want you to do. Let's do this. Say, Father. Father. Just how you worked in my heart. Just how you worked in my heart. Work in Diana. Work in Diana White. Call her out of that. Call her out of that. The torment, man. Tell us a little bit about that because there's a lot of 
uh, raza, a lot of Mexicans that, you know, that do you know, the Santa Muerte, Santeria. This is all the same thing. It's all witchcraft, yeah. altars, offerings, you know, blood sacrifice. All that's the same. It's all witchcraft. Okay. So they think they think it's it's they think it's good because it brings good. Just like you, it, it brought you money sometimes at the at the casinos. Doesn't mean it's good. It's it's yeah. wicked. It's witchcraft. People don't know that. Where would that stuff lead you to? So, Santa Muerte and Orula are right here. Mm -hmm. So. This is what they told me, that back in, in, in the ancient times mm -hmm. when these santos existed, mm -hmm. that one day Santa Muerte took one of Orula's child, mm -hmm. children. So this is how it works. Whenever you die, Santa Muerte is there first. That's what they told us. That's what they told you. That's what they told us. Santa Muerte is there. Orula comes second. And Arula tells Santa Muerte, hey, wait, is it his time? No, it's not his time. If it's not his time, hey, man, get the hell out of here. Mm. But the way it started was Santa Muerte took Orula's child without Santa Muerte knowing it was Orula, Orula's child. That's where the bracelets come into play. That's where we wear our bracelets on our left hand. Mm. So he said, okay, well, I'm going to put this bracelet on my child's on my child's wrist, and you know that's my child, and not to mess with. It's like this demon is claiming this this this, this person. This is my. This belongs to me. But they made it seem like is it children? Oh, like Santa Muerte was the bad guy, and Orula was the good guy. Mm. But at the same time, it's all it's all wicked. Yeah, it's all witchcraft. And I told myself, I'm. I told myself, I'm gonna be in this religion for the rest of my life. Wow. I don't, I told her I, I would represent it. my mom. My mom's a Christian woman. My mom goes to church three Thank times you, a week, and she told me, and I told her today about what was going on, and I haven't talked to her, and she's just she wanted to cry. Oh she, man, come she on! Was, and she was like, uh, <laughs> she was like, damn son. She was like, I've been praying and praying and praying for you to come to God. She was like, that stuff you're doing. She's like, I've been telling you to stop. It's very evil. It's very evil. It's evil, evil. And she's and, a Christian woman Christian praying woman. for you. And and I would tell her wow. sometimes I would get angry, and I'd be like, you know what? Don't tell me what the you know. Don't tell yeah. me what to do. Amen. I'm doing this religion, and I'm gonna be in it for the rest of my life. If you don't want to be my mother no more, you can go ahead and step. I'm picking this religion over you. You would tell her that. I would tell her that. Wow. That's how strong these it's people had me. Demon. And I believed it. It was in my head. I believed. I believed that this was gonna be the rest of my life right here. You know, today you're gonna repent completely from that, right? Completely, because this is real. Like this stuff is real. That's actually de there's demons. Yeah, I know. So so like. You can't be touched by these demons. They can't come at you as long as you fully say, I'm surrendering everything to you, God, and I'm going to walk with you like I should. You're not going to be in sin, like habitual sin. Successful You're going all person. in with Jesus. Yeah, I do. All in with Jesus. All in. All in. No, I'm being serious. This, I'm is, all this, this is it. No, this is it. Come on. This is it. Hey, do you have any trash, like anything we could put them in outside? Let's light it up. Like what you mean? Catch it on fire? Yeah. It don't matter. We can go outside in the back and... and I'm come on, let's get this junk out of here. We're gonna pour that that stuff out outside so it won't it won't blow up too. The the liquor. We bind everyone. Come on, spirit. This is crazy. I never thought I'd do this. This is the best decision you'll ever make, man. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Watch out. Jesus. Wow. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Give me a hug, man. King Jesus, man. Breaking down altars. Tearing down these altars. And you're going to help bring a lot of these people out of witchcraft, man. A lot. And I, and I, and I hope I do. You will. This, just this video alone will help a lot of people. Man, this is wild. That, bro. Wow. That precedes Jesus. the move of God. Everybody say that there's always a sound. That I've been in a dark place for a long time, man. Wow. Whenever you I really have. It is always it's done, though. 
with a sound. We're gonna get rid of it. What we I want to do now? Let's go inside. Let's let's pray. Let's and then let's let's renounce some things. Amen. Okay. Amen. All right. So, what are you feeling right now, man? I don't know, man. Just, you just got rid of all that. You repented. I feel. Man, I feel relieved. Amen. And you're about to now. You're gonna confess with your mouth. Repent, and you're gonna say, you're gonna turn from that. You're gonna speak. You're gonna you're gonna renounce and cancel all those all those legal rights that Satan had over you. And we're gonna pray for you. Then we're gonna anoint this house. Amen. Amen. I renounce lust. I renounce rebellion. I renounce witchcraft. I renounce mano de rula, babalaos, palo, paleros. I renounce elewa. I renounce orula, ogun, oshun, yemeya, shango, all the orishuas. I renounce it. Everything that he's renounced right now by the authority of Jesus Christ, every spirit, every unclean spirit that's came in through this witchcraft practice, yeah, leave him now. Loose him now. Thank you, Lord. Every last bit of it right now. Whew. Come on. I want you to do this. I'm about to, I'm about to put some worship on in here. I want us to just thank God for what he's about to do in this place. I want us to prophesy in this place. We're going to go around. Let me see your hands. All this oil. I want you to put it put a cross right there that said, I apply the blood of Jesus. This this house belongs to Jesus now. This house belongs to Jesus now. This house will be a used. This house will be used for a place of worship. For a place of worship. A place of praise. A place of revival. A place where the word of God goes forth. A place where the word of God goes forth. Come on. Death could not hold you down. Hallelujah. King Jesus, come on. You are the risen king. Sing it with Yeah, so I got shot. When I was 17 years old. You got shot right there? I got shot right here. Oh, wow. I got shot with a 38 special. A 38 special. Um, I want to walk with God, man. I, w I want my life to change, man. I want it to change. But I w also I also want to touch others, man. I also want that's what it's people about. to hear my testimony. Hey, yeah, look. My God didn't put his spirit inside you so you could stay home my and watch Netflix. Man. My testimony is real. I've been through it all. Amen. I've been through it all. I done been shot. I done been in prison. I done did prostitutes. I done did drugs. I done did ice. I done did coke. I done did alcohol. I done did everything. But I, I turned around from all that. This guy right here is going to be used mightily in the kingdom. Amen. I turned around from all of it, man. I'm clean now, man. I'm good. Okay. Okay. Our thumb boards, they would uh, consist of, uh, um, of people coming from Cuba. So they would come from Cuba. The Baba, Laos. the Baba Laos, and they would be high-ranking Baba Laos. These are the real deal. These are the real. This 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 them. culture, it came from slavery. So it came from Africa and it came from Cuba. So back in the day when the when the uh, uh, when they would hold the slaves, they didn't let the slaves read, write, and they didn't let them pray. So the they would pray to rocks. The slaves would pray to rocks. And the people who owned the slaves would be like, what are they doing? They're praying the rocks. Oh, we don't care. We don't care about it. So that's why the Elewa that I had, it was a rock. Mm. And they were praying to Santos. That's how this religion started with the slaves, with the Africans, with the, uh, with the Cubans. Wow. And the tambor. And the tambors, they consist of the, the people who want to host it down here in Dallas, in the U.S. And these tambors are very powerful. They would call the real Baba Laos from Cuba. They'd pay for their flights, they pay for their hotel, they pay for their food, they would pay them to play the drums. Two hours. They'd come, they'd pay the drums for two hours. Once that two hour happened, they said that the dead would come down. The dead would come down and it was it didn't it just depended on what Santo. They would say what 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 uh, muerto would come and it'd come inside um possession. Yeah, and it it, it would possess Manny, which was my padrino. And um He'd go around with alcohol. He'd go around, and he it made it seem like he would only pick certain people. Like, it wasn't everyone they talked to everyone. Mm. 
They were picking, picking, picking. And when they picked you, they made you feel special because, hey, he's coming down. He's talking to me. He's telling me what uh, what I want to do. He'd walk around with a bowl of Bacardi and he'd make you drink, you drink, you drink, you drink. Oh, just because I'm a, just because I'm an elder, you don't think I can drink? Come on, let's keep drinking with each other. Let's keep drinking with each other. So I'm drunk. And by the time the tambor was over, he would shake and fall and then get back up and be sober. When that demon would leave him. When that demon would leave him. Wow. Be sober. That stuff is crazy, man. Let, let, let's talk a little bit about the Santa Muerte, man. You you know, people actually think she's good because she gives you things. And, and you know. No, see, this how I, there's no way that the Santa Muerte can be good because you have to make sacrifices to her. So you tell Santa Muerte, hey, I want this, I want this. But the Santa Muerte says, hey, if you don't do this, I'll take your life. Mm. The Santa Mother says, hey, if you, if you believe in me and you stop believing in me, I'll take the life of somebody you love. Wow. So the Santa Muerte is very, you know what I'm saying? They make it's it. Demons too. She make it. And it's, it's real. I believe in demons. I believe in the, just like I believe in the devil. Um, Santa Muerte is, is powerful and is, is bad. Same thing with Orula, with what I'm in. Oru, Oru, Orumila. That you, where you were in. That I was in. All that stuff is very power. It's very demonic. That's what it is. And people actually think she's good. That you know that that she, you know that she's a good spirit. But it's it's straight witchcraft, and they need to know this. And it's witchcraft because why don't we have to do that with with God? And first of all, you did this. Yeah. You know, it's, this is a man that that was in it. You were in yeah. it. You were at the you were and, going to the botanicas, right? And it, oh yeah, I'd go to the botanicas. I'd buy. I'd got. I'd get candles. I'd light a, a, a yellow candle and I'd light a green candle on Sundays. Instead of praying to God, I was praying to Orula. I'd get a yellow candle, I'd get a green candle, the colors of Orula, and I'd get a white towel. And I couldn't brush my teeth because I had to keep the dirtiness in my mouth. And I would open my legs on a white towel with candle, candle, and I'd open my Orula and I'd put it in front of me and I would pray to Orula. I'd open it and I'd pray to him and I would tell him what I wanted, what I was going through, and, and everything would get better. That's what they made it seem. But then you start getting tormented. And then you start getting tormented. But the thing is, is with Orula, when he tells you to do something, you got to do it. So if Orula says, turn left, don't turn right because you're going to die. You have to turn left because if you turn right, you're going to die. That's what they make you seem. That's what they And you said that you had a friend that... that that believed a lot in the Santa Muerte too. Yeah. Oh yeah. He, he keep it in a pocket. So. Yeah. So he he would keep his Santa Muerte wrapped up in a, a bandana, and man, I kid you not, man. Every time something would happen, he'd be like, "This is my, you know, this is my B. This is my B. She got me." He'd pull it out, put it in his lap. Everything would go away. We'd be in Irving, three in the morning, drunk, smoking car full of dope a cop would get behind us we're the only car in we're the only car on the road and he'd pull her out and put it on his lap and the cop would just go around us it's witchcraft and that's the same thing they make us they made us believe with uh, with uh, orula mano de rula when i got initiated on in, in mano de rula i paid 1800 bucks to get initiated and then when i was getting initiated guess what there was 20 other people there you have the padrino of that house making twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars in one Sunday, and then do it again the next Sunday with another group. That's crazy. These babalaos are not even; they don't even work. They don't have a job. This is what they do, and they then work for Satan. They, they work for Satan, and then you just see them constantly, constantly. Every time you gotta go, oh man, I'm having a bad day, and they would make me seem. And I'm not gonna lie, when I would go and I would go and I would talk to the padrino, and I would believe in it, and I would. When I would leave that house, I felt whew, everything was good. Okay, you know what? I felt better now. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. And I followed it. But as soon as I stopped listening, everything bad would happen for me again. And I got to go back again and pay another 500 bucks and pay another 500 bucks, 550, 600, 700, whatever they were charging. It's just constantly repetitive. And you don't, you don't have to do that with God. God loves you, man. He forgives you. And then you could just step into relationship with him. That's it. 
And that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to walk with God. This is what I want to do. I want to be a new for everything, man. I want to be a new me. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to take this new path, man. I'm ready, man. This is this is me. He's this is, this is what I do, man. They're going to believe in Jesus, what he's done in your life. And I want you to tell, I want you to pray for them right now. I want you to pray that they would come up out of that lifestyle, that God would bring just, he would bring the, you know, the love. He would bring his love and reveal his love to them, you know, just like you've encountered his love now. Pray for them. Okay, Father God, I pray for this people that I once care about, cared about, get lifted and taken out of this religion. This religion is this is horrible. And Father God, today I come to you and I and I and I ask you to take that to take that evil out of myself as well. And Father God, I just want to ask you just to put the love and the glory and the joyness and the happiness inside of me and put it inside of them people that I once loved and I once cared about and take them out of that evil religion because that religion is, is, is horrible, it's demonic, it's fake, it's, it's not real. Take it away from them. Take it, the muertos, just take it, take, take it all out of them because they think that they're more powerful than God. And they ain't. And they're not. <laughs>